evening. I'm Mallory Maddox. And I'm John Nicely. ConAgra is calling it its $300 million efficiency plan. The company that started in Nebraska 96 years ago is moving its headquarters elsewhere. That efficiency plan is costing Omaha hundreds of jobs. 300 corporate jobs are being moved to the new headquarters, the hometown of its new CEO, Sean Connolly, Chicago, Illinois. This will bring the staff at its Chicago office to 700. 1,200 will remain in Omaha at key administrative positions, plus research and development and supply chain management. But 1,500 global jobs are being cut, about 30% of its office workforce. These are not plant positions. In a statement, Connolly says locating our headquarters at our and our largest business segment in Chicago places us in the heart of the world's business capitals and consumer packaged goods centers. So now, hundreds of people will be waiting to hear the news in the next two to four weeks to find out if their services are still needed at ConAgra. As WWT 6 News Matthew Smith reports, the economic impact is already looming over the city. As the sun sets on the famed Chef Boyardee statue, it's hard not to ask, what lies ahead for the company he represents? You'd hate to see the decisions of a few impact the entire Omaha community, but we're resilient. Kirschenbaum, who just moved back here from where Conagra plans to move to, that's Chicago, says today's news hurt. In fact, part of the reason he moved here, the area around this campus, is the young people it attracts. Conagra's down here, and I think they're part of the reason so many young people live downtown. The mayor talked to WOWT 6 News sounding hopeful Thursday, but even she admitted. It is not the information that I wanted to hear. It's not the news that I wanted to hear. Today I spoke with one of the company's VPs. He reminds me that this will still continue to be the company's largest office. 1,200 people will still call this place home, but for hundreds of others, uh, they'll be told in the coming days that their jobs, their services, they're no longer needed. A separation will unfold by the summer of 2016. As for the mayor, she was told it wouldn't be as bad as she was hearing. After hearing what she heard today, she says this has been a tough pill to swallow. He said once it's announced, I don't think people will think it is as bad as it may seem now. And to me, I think it is as bad as it seems now or even worse. For those that work for Goodwill's work ops, it means they'll be kicking things into overdrive. They tell me they've had success placing people in jobs before. The reality, Omaha is looking at a thousand unemployed people in the near future. You know the jobscape. Can they handle that? Can this city handle that many people? I, I think they can. There are a lot of employers out there who are looking for qualified candidates. As for those people's connection to Conagra, a time is running out. For now, the company higher-ups are talking. They admit to me severance packages, job cuts, benefits, all of that, it's all still up in the air. None of that is set in stone. It's all being worked out. They are stressing big changes are going to be coming. It looks like the separation to Chicago will happen sometime by the summer of 2016. Reporting with photographer Mike Blues, I'm Matthew Smith, WOWT 6 News.